Hello everybody and welcome to The Great Kitchen. My name's James and today we are going vegan. So we're going to be creating a wonderful cauliflower casserole and pairing it with an exquisite Chardonnay. So watch this space and let's get cracking. We're going to start as always with the ingredients. So we're going to be turning this into this and we're going to be pairing it with this now this is a lovely simple chardonnay from the western cape in south africa but as always we'll get on to the wine in a bit and now let's focus on the ingredients okay let's start with the star of the show the main ingredient obviously is going to be cauliflower now we're also going to be making a crumb to go on top and that's going to be made out of breadcrumbs and pine nuts and we'll also be making a sauce which is made of potato, shallots, almond milk, apple cider vinegar, cashew nuts, garlic and a squeeze of lemon. And I nearly forgot we're going to finish it off right at the end with some fresh thyme. So firstly we're going to need to do some preparations for the sauce so take your potatoes and your shallots, peel them, chop them and stick them in a pan on boil. Now we're going to quickly make the crumb. So it's dead simple. You just need your pine nuts and your breadcrumbs, put them in a blender and pulse them for a bit until they're mashed together. So let's turn our attention back to the sauce. Uh, the potatoes and the shallots should be done by now. So take them out of the pan and then add all the sauce ingredients to a blender and blend them up. Right, so time for the main ingredient. Take the cauliflower, slice it up into thick slices and layer it in a roasting dish with some of the crumb sprinkled on top. Then add the sauce and then add the rest of the crumb and garnish with thyme. So put this in the oven for about 40 minutes and get yourself a drink. So I chose a Chardonnay to go with this dish for a multitude of reasons. This dish, despite not having any actual cream in it, is rather creamy because of the almond milk, the potato, the cashew nuts. They're all going to make this texturally quite a creamy dish. So we want to avoid aromatic and acidic wines because the flavours will clash too much. Most Chardonnays undergo something called malolactic fermentation, which gives it a more creamy texture and lowers acidity levels, so it's the perfect grape for this dish. I've chosen this. It's a simple but lovely Chardonnay from Arabella Wines based in South Africa's Western Cape. So, as always, here's me being a pretentious wanker, but in all seriousness, this was a lovely simple Chardonnay with aromas of green apple and notably pear. Okay, so I think it's time we now take the casserole out of the oven. Now we're going to want to let it rest for five minutes just to make everything kind of solidify and then after that serve her up. So this is my vegan cauliflower casserole served with a lovely Chardonnay from the Western Cape. This has been The Great Kitchen. I've been James and thanks for watching.